Hello. Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's Mike. I'm here for the next six weeks bringing yoga clothes five days a week, plus my Sunday morning live stream. So I am currently in the 40 Days to Personal Revolution program with the Baptiste Yoga Institute. Every week of this program, there is a yoga component. It's six days a week of yoga. The first week is 20 minutes, second week 30 minutes, 45 minutes, 60 minutes, 90 minutes. So you can stay tuned for the next six weeks. I will be uploading every day by 7 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a flow that's corresponding to that week. So this week is all gonna be 20 minute flows and then it'll just get a little bit longer. So those of you that have been asking for the 90 minute flows, it's almost gonna be there and I will commit to doing five 90 minute flows in um, several weeks from now. So today we're gonna do a 20 minute uh, modified journey into power sequence and power vinyasa breathing, and generating presence. Each week of this program, there is also a theme, and the theme this week is presence. So that is going to be what we're trying to generate, not trying, that's what we're going to generate in today's practice, okay? So move into your child's pose to start, knees nice and wide, toes touching, settle back onto your heels. Whether you're in this 40 days program, some of you might be taking it with me, some of you might be doing it in the future and find these videos. It doesn't matter if you're in the program or not. It's just, um, you know, another way to generate movement and presence in your life. Take a breath in. Sit back onto your heels, nice and deep. Full inhale, full exhale. One more big breath in, big breath out. And tabletop. Downward facing dog, ground down through the foundation, the hands, the feet. And so right away, getting integrated to your yoga practice, and those tools of breath, and the physical connection of your hands and feet, your core, your muscles, pulling bones, just tools to get you present. Feet together, right foot up, three-legged dog, feel the right side of your body. Wiggle your toes, your ankle. Ground down through that left heel. And then switch sides. Left foot up, root the right heel down. Stay grounded through every knuckle on both your hands. Big breath in. Step to the top of your mat, ragdoll. Feet hip distance apart. Really being present to your physical body as it lands in this practice today, challenging yourself to work, to step out of your comfort zone and feel the sensations of the practice, but also not to suffer, find rest, bring ease, present to what you truly need, breath by breath. Inhale, exhale, Release your fingertips to your mat. Big toes touch, heels apart. On your next breath in, come up to the flat spine, lengthen it. Hold. Extended mountain, sweep up, big stretch. Fold, pull your chest towards your thighs. Halfway lift, wrap the shoulder blades back. High to low push up with your exhale. Step back, lower down. Upward facing dog, lift your chest forward. Downward facing dog, hips back. Take a breath in, breath out. Two more, press down, pull the pit of the belly in. Lift onto your toes, bend your knees. Look forward and then hop or step forward. Flat back. Fold. Extended mountain, big stretch. Go up, go back. Fold, hug into your legs. Lengthen, draw the belly in. Chaturanga Dandasana, flow with your breath. Upward facing dog, lift up. Downward facing dog, hips back. Full breath in. Press down into your mat. 
presencing through the hands and feet. Lift onto your toes, bend your knees, hop or step to the top of your mat. Flat back. Hold. Full breaths, full expression, extended mountain pose, keep sipping air in, go up, go back. Fold, empty out. Lengthen the spine. Chaturanga Dandasana with your breath. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Right away, lift onto your toes. Bend your knees, empty your lungs completely. Hop or step between your hands. Flat back. Fold forward. Utkatasana, sit down into your seat. Stay. Present to breath. Present to the muscles of your legs. Skin hugging muscles, muscles hugging bones. Take a breath in, look up. Sit a little bit deeper. One more big stretch through the torso. And then fold into your legs. Halfway lift. Chaturanga Dandasana, move with your breath. Upward facing dog, lift your thighs up off the mat. Downward facing dog. Warrior one on the right side, step your foot forward. Reach up, sink down. Knee lined up over the front ankle and then draw the right hip bone back, keeping the hips squared to the top of your mat. Two more breaths, inhale. Go a little deeper in that front knee. Feel the legs scissoring through the inner thighs. Breath in. Take a breath out, hold for your exhale. One more, just the breath in to lengthen the upper body. Chaturanga Dandasana, flow with your breath. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Left side, warrior one. Use the inhale to bring you up. Exhale to sink down into the lunge. Left hip bone back, squaring your hips, true north alignment in the body. Shoulder blades down the back. Breathe in. Hold it, maybe go deeper, right at your edge. Feel that out. Take a full inhale, stretch your upper body. Stay for the breath out. One more big inhale. Chaturanga Dandasana with your breath. You move high to low. Upward facing dog, press your hands down. Downward facing dog, hips back. Breathe in. And breathe out. Presence through your breath. Presence through the physical sensations of the poses in your body. Present to your thoughts. Working to keep them here. And if they wander, just working to bring them back. Breath by breath. As you exhale, bend your knees, look to the top of your mat. Hop or step there, flat back, lengthen, fold, chair, fold, halfway lift, shoulder integration, pull back, chaturanga dandasana with your breath, you flow, upward facing, downward facing dog, Warrior one, right side. Step through, reach up. You can start to reach back a little bit. Chaturanga Dandasana, float your right toes if you want to add that in. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Building heat, left side, warrior one. Move with your breath. Reach up, reach back. Chaturanga Dandasana, you can float the toes on the left side. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. One more. Onto your toes. Bend your knees. Hop or step. Flat. And fold. Chair. Breathe in. Fold. Breathe out. Halfway. Lengthen. Flow. High to low push up. 
Upward facing, lift your shin bones off the mat. Downward facing dog. Right side, warrior one, reach up, reach back. Chaturanga Dandasana, float your right toes. Lower down. Upward dog. Downward facing dog. Left side, last one here. Go for your fullest expression. Chaturanga Dandasana with your breath. You flow it out. Upward facing dog, lift up. Downward facing dog, empty out. Full breath in. Full breath out. Onto your toes. Bend your knees. Hop to the top of your mat. Flat back. Fold. Chair. Twist to the right. Wrap the right shoulder blade back. Hog the shoulder blades together on your back. Breathe in. Start to get a bit lighter on your left foot. So put the weight over to the right side. Step your left foot back. Crescent lunge twist. Keep the back heel lifted up. Keep the shoulder integration, the core engaged. Breathe in. Twist deeper. One more. Stay for the twist. Warrior two. Sink down into your lunge. Take a longer stance, do that, get to the edge. Present to your legs, present to the sensations, breathing with them, inviting them in. Inhale, exhale, again. Sink a little deeper, front knee tracking over the ankle. Flip and reverse, keep that front leg right where it is. Extended side angle, right elbow to your knee or fingertips to the inside of your foot. Take a breath in, take a breath out, reach up, twist open, one more, side plank, plant the right hand, step your right foot back, lift up through your hips, expand out by hugging in, breathe in, breathe out, bend your left knee, wild thing, take your left toes to the ground behind you, lift up with that right hip bone. Start reaching forward, breathe in, breathe out, fullest expression right here. Chaturanga Dandasana, flip over, lower down. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Onto your toes, bend your knees, hop or step, flat, and fold. Fingers to toes, take your feet hip distance apart, scoop up the toes. Shake out the head, let it go, breathe in, breathe out, one more, soften right here, and take a breath to set up chair, big toes touching or almost touching, heels separated, sit down, twist left, wrap the shoulder blade back, keep integration in the upper body, shoulders, core, Engaged, supporting. Get light on that right foot and then step it back. Crescent lunge, twist. Keep the back heel lifted up. Keep the shoulders, keep the core. All of that upper body stays the same. The left leg is right where it is. Feel the pose, whoop. If you fall out, come back and begin again. Breathe in, breathe out. One more lengthen and twist. Warrior two, open up. Find your long stance. Feel your legs, steady your gaze, go deeper, breath in, breath out, one more, hold here, reverse back, keep that front leg right where it is, extended side angle, right arm up, breathe in, twist open, full breath, Draw that shoulder a little further back, really opening across the front of the body. Take a full inhale, stay for the exhale, look down, side plank, plant the left hand, step the left foot back, find your full expression, like not wasting time, get there, press down, pull in, lift up, take a full breath, bend the right knee, wild thing, on your right toes, 
lifting through the left hip, reaching through the right fingers, inhale, exhale, press and lift higher, stay for the breath out, take one more, inhale together, chaturanga, dandasana, flip over, lower down, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, take a breath in, take a breath out, lift up onto your toes, bend your knees, step to the top of your mat, halfway lift, fold, interlace your hands at your low back, let your fist come up and over your head, just a moment here in a fold, soften the elbows, generate some space in your shoulders, breathe in, breathe out, Take your hands into a reverse namaste. So fingertips touching, turn your hands up into prayer behind your back. Come all the way up to stand. Tree on the right side. Set up your legs, right foot to your inner calf. Yeah, maybe if you can't get your foot to your inner thigh without reaching for it, then just take it here. You're okay, right? Just a couple breaths. Steady your gaze. Press your hands together. Lift through the center of the chest. Take a breath in, breath out, switch sides, tree on the left, full expression. Just a few breaths to access that in your body, expand, grow, present a possibility right here in this variation. Inhale, exhale, one more breath, and release. Take your hands up to the ceiling, extended mountain, fold. Flat back, fold, sit down, come onto your bum, lift up into bridge your wheel, go right into it. Five breaths, any back bend. If you're in bridge pose, take it on, just lifting the hips up off the ground. If you've got a full wheel, go into it, express out into your fullest possible pose right here, breathe in. Breathe out, a couple more, big lift and squeeze. Stay for your breath out. Last one right here, full expression. Slowly come down. Sukta Baddha Konasana, soles of your feet together, knees wide. Spread a hand on your belly, one on your heart. Breathe. In, out, one more, bring your knees together, right ankle on top of your left knee, let's take a figure four stretch, so similar to thread the needle, you'll extend though the left leg straight up to the ceiling, reach for the back of your left thigh, and then draw your thigh in. Press your right knee away from you with that right elbow. Breathe into your hips. Steady it. Feet are still active here. They're not like sleeping. Wake them up. Draw the toes back. Breathe in. Breathe out. Full expression. Pull in. Push out that right thigh. Take one more breath right here. Fold it. Switch sides. You can hear my Roddy snoring back there. I try to sync my breath up with him, but his breathing's even more, <laughs> more deep than mine when he's asleep. Finding Ujjayi, press the right heel up, press the left thigh away. Figure four stretch for breath to get you into your hips. Feel that, right? Like generate as much sensation as you can for these few more breaths. In and out. Again, and empty, one more, deepen that stretch and release, pull both knees into your chest, drop both knees over to the left side for a quick supine twist, inhale, 
exhale here. Come back through center, shift your hips over to the left just a little bit, drop your knees to the right. Breath in, breath out. One more, stay for that twist. Knees to center, one last squeeze in here, give yourself a pull in and release. Shavasana, close your eyes. Let's take a moment of rest. It's important to allow time for your Shavasana, not to skip over this. This is truly the pose of presence. All the asana, all of the mo movements of the practice, they're, they're there to build presence in the body. That is yoga, it's, it's present moment. It's not just the poses. But in this pose, no physicality, no movements, no alignment, just being present to each moment, each breath. And your mind may wander and we do the work of bringing it back moment by moment. Mr. B's breath as an anchor. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. On your next inhale, take a full body stretch, arms up over your head. And bring yourself up to a seated position. Keep your eyes closed, sitting up tall. Thumbs at the center of your chest. generating presence in your life as often as you can. It's the practice of yoga. It happens on and off your yoga mat. Thumbs to the center of your forehead. Together we bow. Thank you. Hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed that. If you are in the 40 days program, comment below. I'd love to know if you're in this program with me doing it or if you're doing it in the future, just comment below the video. Hitting the thumbs up below really helps these videos get pushed out to more people that are searching for this content, helps the channel grow. I appreciate you for flowing with me. Keep moving your body, keep nourishing your body, stay committed to a daily movement practice and I will see you again really soon. Stay tuned. Five classes a week extra on top of what I would normally post. So. Lots of great stuff to come, lots of different lengths, so there's no excuses to get onto your yoga mat. Take it easy.